I received um, a deep question, a beautiful question today. And the question is, how do you love yourself if you don't love yourself? How do you know you don't love yourself? Isn't there so much love that goes into the desire to feel better, the desire to love yourself? Is love in this way some kind of outcome, some kind of certificate? Oh, I finally love myself. So for example, no one told you to love your mother, right? No one told you. It was already there. That desire, that need was already there. Love, the recognition of love, the understanding of love, what love is, not as an idea, but the fun, just the very fact that you desired it so much, just intuitively, like a plant needs water, like an animal needs food the child clings to its mother. And this love, this understanding of love, this instinct for love, an intrinsic, inherent thing, is um, already there. So what does this mean? The, the student asks the teacher, where can I find peace? Where in my body can I find peace? And the, the teacher says, your body, it's not that it's peaceful, because there's peaceful and there's not peaceful. And if you're not peaceful, you want to become peaceful. So the teacher says, your body is not peaceful. Your body is peace, right? It's not a state, it's its natural condition. It's already that way. So this kind of love that we're looking for, it's not really it. My first answer is it takes time. It takes time to feel that you're already loved. So we're already loved not only in the way that we already know what love is, in the instinctive way, but we're already loved by everything. The natural state of things is that the room is holding us up, our friends love us. The antagonism that you feel around your friends, oh, does he like me? Did I say the wrong thing? This is all a head game having to do with behavior. But when you meet somebody, you notice this, when you're walking on the street, we're not, our natural state is not to jump at people, to hurt people, or to expect that we're gonna be jumped at or we're gonna be hurt by others. Our natural state is to drink from the Serengeti from the river next to the lions and the tigers and the zebras. All of us together, all of us supported by life. Life is holding us up. So in that we're not antagonized by things around us, there's already a ecological continuity, already a peace. It's already the way that it is. And so you can begin to feel this. You begin to feel when you're walking, when the head quiets down and you're walking through the streets, you can feel that, all right, actually, the whole world really loves me. And when, when you see that they don't or they're angry or all the rest, that's because they're going through their own shit. They don't love themselves. They haven't attuned to the way that it already is. Right, so let's see that difference. There's the way that it already is, everyone wanting love, everyone having love, everyone able to give love. And then we get tripped up. And so to take personally the fact that others don't seem to be able to gener generate love or give us love, oftentimes because in our upbringing, we haven't received love because people that are raising us did not receive love as children. So it's up to us to individuate. It's up to us to become our own parents, and sometimes the parents of our parents. And when you start to see 
on others' limitations, you really do start to feel that it's not about you and what are they missing. And it's not your uh, obligation to, you know, save the world or bring love to everything and everyone. But just that distance, a little bit of perspective allows things to go on without feeling like it's your fault and that take it personally. And just this space alone is the initiation, the entry point into feeling the natural state of the ecology of things, as I'm saying it, or the natural state of the room just holding you up. The elements are not against you. The room is peaceful. It's, it's holding you up. Likewise, the body, with practice, with making contact with the body, getting into your body, you really do feel that your body is peace. And with this peace, it is already joy. It is already love. It is already bliss. So it's not an additive thing that you do and then you get love if I work hard. It's more like an unlearning. It's more like a coming back to where you've always already been inside your body as yourself. And you'll start to feel that there's already love, that you're already loved. The world is already loving you. Don't waste your life. You've left yourself. That's why you don't love yourself. Because you've left the way you've always been, the peace that you always are. You've left it. You don't accept it. You're denying it because of other things that you've bought into. Don't waste your life. Mm -hmm.